This is a Sharp EL208. It is one of the first old calculators I brought to start my collection. It's actually one of the ones which started it all off. Interestingly, for the age of this calculator from the 70s, it does actually have a uh, LCD screen, which I think is probably the oldest one in my collection with an LCD screen. It must have been quite a uh, quite a thing back in the day. I do like the metal around the uh, around the buttons with the uh, the functions printed onto it. It's a nice addition, which makes it feel more premium. You can see on the back that it was made in Japan, and uh, in, and as usual, the uh, battery is the thing which is driving the thickness of this thing. I mean, it is quite a thick beast. This one uh to say how like small it is in the other direction i mean that's similar thickness to the uh much much larger texas instruments ti 1200 it's comparable despite being considerably smaller in the other dimensions as i was saying that is driven by a thickness of this nine volt battery Unfortunately, um, the clip which used to hold it together has disintegrated with age. It's just a fact that you, you come to realise with these old calculators is uh, old plastic doesn't doesn't last too well. You can see this old little old uh, sharp microchip here. A little bit of electronics peeking out. Interestingly, that looks like a spring. Not too sure what that's there for. Oh, it'll be the uh, it'll be for the on-off switch. Not noticed that before. Just adds a little bit of resistance to it. It's interesting. So, as I was saying, this is quite old for a LCD calculator, as it was introduced in 1979. So, it's actually as old as some of the... Uh, well, most of the other calculators, which are all vacuum tubes and LEDs and all that goodness, like this old lovely red LED screened uh, Texas Instruments here, must have been uh, quite interesting to see um, an LCD back in those days. Of course, nowadays it's uh, just standard. Compare it to this uh, more modern. Interestingly, this uh, TI-502 is uh, only about six years newer than this. But look how much thinner it is. It's about the same, uh, same dimensions in the other planes, but it's a lot slimmer. And that's because by the production of this calculator, the electronics were a lot more efficient and smaller which meant that they could power this by a single button battery, where this needs the beastly 9 volt battery, which is adding all the thickness. Still, saying that, it's a nice little handhold thing, feels, it feels good in the hand, and it's not too big to uh, stash away somewhere. 